Hey everybody, quick recap of our lab today. Today was basically a logistics and, and uh, uh, making sure things are working, getting up to speed lab. Um, we covered several things. Uh, first and foremost, reminded everyone of the do drop in um, on Thursday. I encourage you guys to all part attend. If you do and ask a question, you don't need to do a write-up this week, paper write-up. Uh, if you can't make it, then you will need to do a um, write-up of um, one of our readings from this week or last week, a peer-reviewed piece. Main things we talked about were our field trips, get, uh, getting geared up for uh, end of next week's field trip up the Central Coast and the logistics with that. Then we spent um, bulk of our time on opinion poll, data entry, etc. And then uh, had a question about citing my, my lectures in, in um, midterms and, and references and stuff. So I just wanted to touch on that so everybody had that uh, consistently, that information consistently. Um, as far as the Central California trip, we have some liability forms that you were all to sign today. These are, it has to be a wet signature. You have to be in person to sign those. Um, and so if, if you are intending on going on the trip, but you've not been here and you were not, and you did not sign the forms today, um, you're going to need to get in touch with me super quick. Um, so send me a text, please. And let's figure out when I can get your signature in the next day or so. Um, then we went over the info sheet. Everybody's filling that out. These links were in the, um, the announcement that went out, uh, before class or just as, just as labs are starting today. And the first link is to fill out. Everybody needs to fill that out today. Um, both for information regarding going to the Central California trip on the 3rd to the 5th of November, um, but also uh, your potential attendance at the, uh, the online conference the week of the 8th. So I need to know who's doing what when. You're, again, everybody's more than welcome to do both trips uh, or both events. Um, love for you to do both events, but uh, at a minimum, you have to do at least one or the other. Uh, and then we just talked a bit about uh, phone prep uh, for our trip. So this was that. This is the link to that sheet um, where you're going to fill out your, your cell phone number, et cetera, um, for emergency contact, et cetera. Again, everybody's welcome to come all nights, but if you have to, you know, bail, not make it on Friday, or have to miss Wednesday and then hook up with us Wednesday evening or whatever the case may be because of your other course schedules, that's fine. Just want to know that. Need to know that. Um, and so again, please fill out the entirety of the row with regards to your name uh, and your particular information uh, today, please. Talked about a bunch of things, just preliminary stuff. Most of the details will come next week in terms of logistics of our trip, but uh, also wanted to make sure everybody, uh, one, has their um, has camping gear because we're going to be camping, so uh, tent, um, sleeping bag, etc. If you do not have that, you can reach out to Outdoor Rec to Quest those, but you should do that this week. We're getting near the end here, so you should make sure you have that uh, taken care of. And again, with food, um, mostly we're going to be on our own for food, and so you should be planning on bringing sandwich stuff, etc. Um, there are a few spots where we will be able to go hit a store or restaurant, but for the most part, we're going to be autonomous and on our own for breakfast, lunch, and dinner during our trip. But another thing, uh, everybody that attends your, your assignment for the trip is going to be create a video profile of the um, video summary of one of our stops, one of our visits from, from experts and, and or locations. And so for that, you're going to need to, uh, you can use whatever. You don't have to use your phone. 99% of you will use your mobile phone. So I just want to make sure that um, you all are prepped for that. You need to have enough space on your phone. You can't, cannot assume that we will have cell phone coverage to easily offload your photos or whatever. So make sure you've cleared the memory on your phone so you have plenty of storage before we leave. One, two, make sure you have uh, used a video editing uh, app. You can use one of the default ones that comes with your phone. All the iPhones have iMovie, for example. You can use that or any a paid version, whatever the heck. Practice right now by making uh, three or four 10, 30 second clips and assure yourself you can edit these together, add text onto uh, that, uh, that video and then export that video. So make sure you know how to do that. Do some practice before we go so, so it will work smoothly for you. The other thing to say is all of the video you will capture, all the stills or images, whatever you'll capture, you do not want to do it as we do it on the left here. That's wrong. You want to always have things horizontal in landscape mode whenever you're collecting information, etc. So make sure your phone's ready, charged, all that kind of good stuff. You bring your charging cables um, on our trip. 
Next thing we covered our poll data entry. We spent most of the time on this. So people were entering their polls into the data sheet. We actually discovered several errors with the data sheet, which is exactly what we were looking for. So I will be fixing those later today and sending an announcement to everyone saying that um, things, are, things are fixed and good to go. Um, but long story short, uh, you will be using the collective link to enter our face-to-face, -face, our in-person collected surveys into a unified data set, into the unified database. As far as uh, collecting the polls, we, we discussed a bit about strategy and how people were working and places they're targeting, et cetera. Um, suffice it to say that you should be intending on doing 40 in-person surveys, 50 on, 15 online. All of these, though, should be targeting Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles counties. Most of us will sample Ventura, so we tend to oversample Ventura County. Um, so as much as we can push those that data collection into Santa Barbara and Los Angeles, that will create a more balanced um, approach. Again, our approach for all this stuff, whether it's online, in person, et cetera, is to get a diverse cross-section representative sample of our population. So we want to make sure that we're not sending all of our um, outreach or doing all of our outreach in the same types of locations, sampling the same kind of community kinds of communities. You want to sample a broad swath of our communities and that you should really plan out your next two weeks, especially the next few days, to really hit these hard and hopefully take care of that as much as possible. As far as the data entry, we have some questions initially that are not on our survey that you're just gonna, you're just gonna fill out, right? And sort of preparatory stuff such as your name, the unique identifier number, got a lot of questions about that. That's just your poll number one, poll number two, three, four. So label your, your polls. Um, and, and that's what the identifier is. So your replicate, what number is it of yours? Um, uh, the rest should be self-explanatory, the date, time, et cetera. And then the main questions over here are the ones that are on your uh, instrument. Um, there were a few errors. Again, I will be sending out a notice about that, the, the fixes that I made. When you're done, recall that you must submit all of your paper, uh, paper surveys um, as per our, our um, IRB. And so uh, in addition to giving them to me, you should also, and numbering them, that this was, this was your name and number one, your name number two, your name number three, et cetera, the location where they were administered, et cetera. Once you've typed them into the database, you should physically write on the, on the front page of that survey, entered by your initials and the date you did it, and then circle it. So that way we'll know that it's definitely been entered. Um, another quick note here. Uh, so again, we are you need to get 15, at least 15 uh, online um, um, surveys completed. Ideally, those are going to be coming from Santa Barbara, Ventura, LA, although the very nature of sharing things online means that they might be spreading beyond our, our those three counties. And so that's okay, but we really want to target our local counties. Um, and the other notion here is some people said, oh, I want to reach out to... Uh, Ventura College, into Oxnard College, into Moore Park College, into, you know, da 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 da, da and, and that's not really so much what we're looking for, right? We're looking for a broad representation. So you can send one or two to, you know, reach out to this location, but we want to make sure that we have a cross-section of, um, of our society. So, so get some of those, you know, a, a business or a restaurant is fine, but make sure they're not all restaurants or not all um, the same types of organizations. Um, again, 40 in-person surveys, 15 online. Um, some people ask, can they do more in-person? Sure. If you did, you can do 55 in-person and not have to do any online. But, but we need at least 40 in-person. Again, that's the historic way we've collected this data for 15 years. And so that's the, the standard. And to just give it, trying to help you out a little bit during COVID to allow you to do some of these online. Um, Santa Barbara, Ventura, LA are our targets. And again, uh, our philosophy here is to take random grabs and cross sections of different parts of our community. Last thing we mentioned in class was just uh, some questions people had about our pre-midterm and, and associated midterms. How do, how do you cite my lectures? So again, you're using author and year. And so it would just be Anderson 2021. If you are citing multiple lectures, um, how do you do that? Because there's might be three references that are Anderson 2021, let's say, theoretically. In, in that case, you it's author year and then a subscript letter A for the oldest, letter B for the, the next oldest, C, uh, et cetera. And then on the uh, bottom and the literature cited, you would cite it similar to how you might do a book. And so if you're entering stuff into a, a database, those of you that are in Capstone or learn how to use uh, databases to do your tracking your literature, et cetera. 
and generating your literature cited. If that's you, um, you can enter that as a book. You can also enter it as a purse com, personal communication. And so, so this one would be uh, last name, first name, dot year. And if there's multiple ones, it would be a lowercase a or b or c or whatever. And the title of the lecture, and then um, that that and the date of it. So uh, October one. This got a little erased here, but this is, you say October one lecture. And then where you can put a link to um, an open access, open source. Uh, a, 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 address on the web, go ahead and do that. In the case of, for example, our um, YouTube uh, lectures, you can do that. So I would go ahead and do that. That's citing us. And again, if it's the, as a reminder, we also discussed another question was, um, uh, a single author is last name and year in terms of the in-text citation. If there's two authors, it's the first and last name, or excuse me, the first author comma, or excuse me, first author ampersand for and, and the last name of the second author in the year. If there's more than two authors, it's just the first author's name, comma, et al., and then the year. So that's what we talked about in class today. Um, keep charging. Uh, uh, get your strongly recommend you guys um, plan on getting your lecture, getting your surveys done the next few days. Um, load up your schedule. Put it in your schedule. Make sure you're doing that. And um, and I will see everyone either at the do drop in tomorrow night or in um, in class on Monday. Thanks, you guys. Be good. <laughs>